Okay, so earlier I took off the SRAM Force crank with that really large Allen key um, on both sides. See how large that is? Really big Allen key. Um, but then, uh, see, here's the other one that I took off right there. But then, I encountered a problem. The problem was, um, I could not loosen this bottom bracket right here. This is a Truvative GXP bottom bracket. It is on my fixed gear. So it's been on there for years um, and I could not loosen it. Um, so what I did, simple, very, very simple fix it, quick fix. If you can't loosen it, make sure you're turning it the correct way. So the non-drive side is regular left, left hand loosen, lefty loosey righty tighty that's on the non drive side on the on the drive side however right on this side it is opposite so the remember the way to remember that is the acronym TURT the right is reverse threaded I don't remember who told me that I think it was a mechanic back at the shop but TURT or TRIT TRIT the right is reverse threaded which is the drive side so luckily the GXP bottom bracket does have arrows right there and this one right there so I'm going to show you what I use to loosen it um, without getting any stronger this is all you have to use check it out okay so basically um, I went to my hardware store and bought some galvanized pipe um, so let me just get this tape off here so I can show you the problem that I had so you might have a similar problem and this is the solution. This is a short uh, ratchet right here and this is the Park Tool Park Tool BBT slash 19.2 right there and so what I did to get more leverage got this galvanized pipe make sure it fits your wrench this is a three quarter inch galvanized pipe and then I just taped it all together like that so it wouldn't move right there and then make sure you you get this on the right you turn it on the right side just like that and um, this is the right hand side, so the right is reverse threaded, so it's going to be righty to loose. So this, this way to loosen. Okay, so I'm going to need to switch my ratchet tool in the opposite direction. Right there. Get that on there, right there. And then use, oops. Use the leverage bar to pop it loose. There you go. One, two, three. There you go. Got it loose with very minimal force. All I used was this $13 piece of galvanized pipe right here. So, get all the leverage you want out of it. Unstoppable. And then, just by hand, loosen up the bottom bracket. Right here. And 
man. Bada bing, bada boom. You are golden, my friend. The one thing to keep in mind with SRAM GXP bottom bracket removal, heavily grease the cups, like which which is what I did. If you ride in a lot of rain, grease it more frequently. And uh, always keep in mind where your spacers were because GXP comes with these spacers right here. It comes with a pair of two or three in a brand new kit. So you're gonna wanna keep in mind where that is. So yeah. This is the, this is, and of course, don't mix it up once you get it loose. This is the, this is the non-drive side. So I'm gonna put that on the left of my work stand. And then this is the drive side. And there's also a little, plastic cup in between so if this fits into my vintage bike then I'm gonna use the SRAM GXP in it there you have it okay so that's this is the drive side this is the non drive side there you have it plastic cup in between and then there's also these um, gasket covers on the top of it so there you have it that's a GXP bottom bracket removal that was stuck in the frame and I could not loosen it but I loosened it using leverage with a galvanized pipe as my breaker bar. Hope that helps some of you um, who don't have breaker bar um, ratchet tools like myself I don't. I just have a regular ratchet set right here. A regular ratchet set so yeah that's about it. Okay thanks for watching and that was that was it for this little segment. Bye-bye.